the room that they gave us, it's like our room but the floor above and it's like way bigger and the pool is bigger and the view is insane. <laughs> wake up this morning just to get up and just jump straight in the pool and then lay in the sun for a bit. We're just gonna get a buggy down now to um, the restaurant to have some breakfast. So the breakfast restaurant is actually a, a different restaurant which I didn't know. This breakfast you get to just basically order whatever you want and then they bring it to you and then they have a buffet as well but you can order anything like however you want and they'll bring it to you so i got like a poached egg with hash brown the croissants here are mad they're not just like normal croissants the chocolate croissant is <laughs> looks so good we've got some fresh fruit as always and then like they asked us how much dim sum we wanted and marina was like oh five or six and then i was like oh i want the same please he was like five or six again. So we got like 12 dim sum. And we got like a smoothie as well and some juice. So, so far this looks like a really, really good breakfast. Oh my God, that breakfast was so good. Definitely the best breakfast we've had. Really fresh, fresh food. I'm just here waiting for our buggy. The person that takes care of us spoke to us today because we actually have a small leak in the like terrace area where the pool from above, if it splashes a bit, it will sit on the roof of the terrace and then drip down a bit. It's really not a problem, it's like right in the corner and we don't use it and they put some towels. He said that there's a better room that some guests are checking out of today. They're gonna check out and then they're gonna clean it and then he's gonna show us it to see if we wanna move to that room. So that'd be really nice. So might get upgraded again. So we just went, where did we go Marinella? Marinella went to get her eyelashes done. Anyway, it's just down the road. Apparently they were really good and they're really cheap as well, so that's cool. But not gonna lie, getting taxis in Koh Samui is such a joke. If you want to call for a taxi, it's 100 baht straight away. And then they start at 100 baht and they go up. It's like 20 baht for 10 centimeters or whatever. It's ridiculous. It goes up so quickly, it's so expensive. It's just a bit of a pain and grab doesn't work either. Whereas in Bangkok, it's like it started at 35 baht and then went up like five baht per kilometer. So you could actually get taxis. Well. So here's massive pain. I'm gonna go to one of these like little exchange marts to see if we can um, exchange some money and see what the exchange rate is. That one's closed anyway. The exchange rate was one of those like dodgy booths on the side, but I saw like someone else going there as well. So, and the rate was pretty good, but not like too good to be true. And just made sure to count it like there and then because you want to make sure. But we're just in 7-Eleven now, choosing some more snacks and Marinella needs a Red Bull, so... What are you doing? Why are you dropping it? So we just wait in like this little hut, which is like a bougie bus stop hut by the entrance because it's quite a way to the hotel. And then a golf buggy will come and pick us up, which is cool. We've got the goods. We've got our snacks. And some beer for Marinella. <laughs> Not me. That's a lot. It's really nice because when you get in the golf buggy, they remember your room so like they know where you're going so he picked us up at the entrance he was like oh like do you want to go back to your room you're like yeah and then he was like oh 711 like yep <laughs> he just knew they remember they remember small details even at breakfast the thai iced tea i had they remembered that i don't like it too sweet even though i ordered it at a different restaurant like a different place it's the small things that count <laughs> so the room that they gave us it's like our room but the floor above and it's like way bigger and the pool is bigger and the view is <laughs> insane. Just look, this is when you walk in, yeah? This is the closet area. And then when you walk in, oh my God, it's huge. You have like all these random things. There's a window out here. And then the bed. And look at this. I'm not even done. So as you walk up here, this is the window into the bathroom because the bathroom is a whole nother room where you come in here and 
<laughs> the toilet's around there. Sink's here. And this is the shower. It's so tall. With a massive rain here shower. And look at the bath. It's a ginormous bath. And it has a window right out onto the balcony. <laughs> so you can walk straight out. Oh my god. It opens up. <laughs> yeah. No way. And then look. The pool is like so big. When you come out here to the edge of the pool and see all the way down there. All the way down to the beach. I don't even know what it's called. It's called like the Grand Pool Ocean Suite. This this pool was literally bigger than the hotel pool that we stayed in on that first night. We were so grateful and happy to the guy when he gave it to us. And we were so happy to give it. What? Oh, mate. This is our view when you come to the edge of the pool and you're just chilling here on this seat. So we're in the toilet here. Yeah? Huh? Oh, shut up! And this is where you, you know, do your business, right? And I saw this, I was like, hmm, that looks like kicking open. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so whilst you're doing your thing, you can uh, pop over and look into the jungle. The time is five o'clock. Well, it's actually time. quarter past five, but it means that it's cocktail time. So we're gonna go down to the beach, sit on the beach with some cocktails. I'm gonna edit for a bit. This place is so beautiful at night. The lights that they have and everything just makes it so, so nice. Where are you going, my love? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <It's from> she, <laughs> she literally just said, oh, it'd be so weird going up an extra floor because we've changed rooms now. And then I you love, go and go to the second floor. I love how you're just waiting there for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me. We're going down to dinner again at this restaurant of the hotel. One, because it's actually so nice, you can choose like vastly different things each day. <laughs> Marina is like falling down the stairs in the hills. <laughs> I'm okay, it's just because I've had a couple of drinks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two, because the food is actually so fresh, you know that you're getting proper food. And three, because the price of the food is actually really good. Even if we found a restaurant outside of the hotel that was cheaper, the taxi cost to get there would just be so much that it's literally cheaper to eat at this insanely nice hotel and we get Marriott points and discount off. They have LED lights in the pool as well which is so cool which we did notice yesterday because I think we didn't come here when it was too dark. I want to ask if we can swim in the pool with the LED lights. This is a what is it? A spicy beef salad. Got two random sort of like Thai dishes today, like noodle dishes that we thought we'd try. Never heard of them before, but they sounded really nice. It was such a good dinner. I still can't believe that the price of the food here is so reasonable. Like the portions aren't massive. For the quality of food, the price is so good. And the staff here are way nicer than at any restaurant we've been to, by far, as well. So, I don't know how to do this. Oh. <gasps> Woo! So, ah. We just had a really nice bath in our bath jacuzzi. Can we even call it a bath? It's so big, it's like a secondary swimming pool. But yeah, it's really nice. And we are gonna go to bed because we're gonna try and get up a bit earlier tomorrow because in the morning I need to do my, my antics of jumping in the pool and all that shaz. Today, the breakfast was really, really nice, so I'll try and get down to breakfast a bit earlier and then just chill for the rest of the day tomorrow. So we'll see you again tomorrow.